second one. Let's see what we can do. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweights between Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. Well, they are underway, scheduled for ten rounds tonight between these two. Many may believe that in a matchup like this, power puncher versus power puncher, that he who has more power wins. But in a way, is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that bomb to the target, he's gonna win. What an excellent two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Missed the body shot. Right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Solid right by Mike Tyson. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, he scored well after being hit himself. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Well, you look at this. Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. He got hit, but he sends it right back. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Keep doing what you're doing. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Keep your hands up, right? Here we go, round two is underway. Effective work with that flush overhand right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Back and forth exchange. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Did you see that? Roy Jones Jr. is on the deck. Get up, One, damn it. two. 
He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Jones is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good return fire that time. Roy Jones Jr. is banged by a power punch. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the... Jones is in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. Big shot. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Get up! Get up! Get up! Jones is able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move, because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times there's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. <laughs> Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Scored well with the hook. Roy Jones Jr.'s three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. More punches. Downstairs with a right hand. Now he's targeting upstairs. Fine-looking right hand by Roy Jones. Great hook to the head that time. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Good, solid right hand by Mike Tyson. Roy Jones Jr. is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Get the combination working, land both punches. Keep your hands right. Now keep your hands Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Flush right hand to the body. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Mike Tyson's got his man off guard here. Just a good variety of punches he's bringing. Yeah, you don't want to be predictable, and he's not predictable. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Work. Tyson's doing really well on the outside. Roy Jones Jr. swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Right hand downstairs. Huge uppercut by Tyson. I like that step back right there. Mike Tyson's crushed by a right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. And yet another big shot comes in. 
up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Jones has landed a good, solid combination. That was a miss by Mike Tyson. Well played, straight right hand. He took a shot, now he gets a big shot there. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Roy Jones mm. Jr. finds himself down, but not necessarily out. He as he rises up to fight on. And you ain't take it. And you ain't take it. Hold him, damn it, hold him! That's a force. Wow! He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Took that. Can he survived the round. Two, and then three, you could have went back and finished playing. Four. Kenny. The next dawn, the dawn of the You want the three dollars and seven eight cents? I gotta hurry up, boy. 